Growing up in the Midwest, I remember learning about monarchs in elementary school. My class studied their annual migration from Mexico to Canada. We even raised a generation in our classroom and released them in the school gardens. As a kid, I remember seeing monarchs all summer on the schoolyard. I hadn't thought a lot about monarchs much since then until I heard about my friends studying them and their host plant, the milkweed. Hearing about her project made me reflect on why I've seen fewer and fewer butterflies. Just a few weeks after I started developing my experiment, I was talking with my family about my research and about all the milkweed I was growing for the monarchs. My family lives in the country with all my aunts, uncles, and grandparents planting extensive produce and flower gardens. However, none of them had milkweed. They asked me to bring them seeds so they could also help the monarchs. I wanted to know if monarchs preferred certain species of milkweed to rear their caterpillars. And now I want to take the findings to engage the local community in growing native plants. Of course, I hope to give milkweed to gardeners like my family members who want to incorporate milkweed into their gardens. But I also see this as a potential to educate the larger community about all kinds of native plants that are essential to our butterflies, bees, and even birds. When I first joined the Monarch and Milkweed Change Lab team, I really didn't know much about monarchs and milkweed or why Anna Jean cared so much about them. I remember her telling us, monarchs aren't just a butterfly or a pollinator. They are the gateway drug to ecology. And I remember just laughing at the time, but she's right. If you ask the public to name or describe a butterfly, chances are they will name the monarch and describe its orange and black wings. Unfortunately, most people don't know that monarchs depend on milkweed to lay their eggs on their annual migration. The milkweed is the only food source for their caterpillars, and their migration takes five to seven generations to complete. So without the milkweed, the monarchs would never make it to Canada and back to Mexico. Because of pesticide use and land loss, milkweeds have declined nearly 70% causing monarch populations to decline by up to 90. To help the monarchs, we are growing over 1,000 common, swamp, and butterfly milkweed. Common milkweed has large pink heads of flowers and spreads rapidly in sunny, open areas. Butterfly milkweed has bright orange flowers and is much shorter than the common milkweed. Swamp milkweed was found to attract more monarchs and has light pink flowers and prefers moist soils. Because all three varieties of milkweed are beneficial for monarchs, gardeners can select the variety that best benefits their garden. They can also choose to grow a variety of milkweed so that there are milkweed blooming throughout the entire migration period. For example, common milkweed blooms first in early summer, butterfly milkweed blooms second throughout the summer, and swamp milkweed blooms last from late summer to early fall. When gardeners see their milkweed rearing a new generation of caterpillars each year, we hope they too become inspired to consider growing other beneficial native plants for butterflies, bees, and birds.